In the United States, mutations leading to MET-exon 14 skipping, known as MET-X14, can occur in approximately 4,000 to 5,000 patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer per year. That amounts to approximately 3% of all patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer. The MET gene encodes the mesenchymal epithelial transition protein, known as MET. MET is a critical component of cell proliferation and survival. Activation of the MET pathway begins when a hepatocyte growth factor ligand, known as HGF, binds to a MET receptor. This binding activates intracellular tyrosine residues and downstream signaling pathways, which regulate a variety of cellular functions, such as proliferation, survival, migration, and invasion. Mutations in the MET gene sequence that lead to exon 14 skipping can prevent typical MET receptor degradation, creating an environment conducive to increased MET signaling. The oncogenic driver MET X14 is one such alteration. Dysregulated MET and HGF signaling can trigger a malignant cellular process. Tabrecta catmatinib tablets is indicated for the treatment of adult patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer, NSCLC, whose tumors have a mutation that leads to mesenchymal epithelial transition, MET, exon 14 skipping, as detected by an FDA-approved test. This indication is approved under accelerated approval based on overall response rate and duration of response. Continued approval for this indication may be contingent upon verification and description of clinical benefit in confirmatory trials. Highlights of important safety information. Tabrecta catmatinib tablets has warnings and precautions for interstitial lung disease, ILD slash pneumonitis, hepatotoxicity, risk of photosensitivity, and embryo-fetal toxicity. The most common adverse reactions, greater than or equal to 20%, are peripheral edema, nausea, fatigue, vomiting, dyspnea, and decreased appetite. With Tabrecta, an oral, selective, and potent inhibitor of the MET receptor, MEDEX14 is an actionable mutation. Let's take a closer look at how Tabrecta inhibits the effects of MEDEX14, based on in vitro slash in vivo studies. Preclinical activity does not correlate with clinical outcomes. Tabrecta demonstrates a selectivity for MET and targets and binds to MET receptors. The selectivity of Tabrecta was demonstrated on two separate screening panels, indicating a selectivity factor of approximately 1,000 times or greater when compared with more than 400 other kinases or mutant kinase variants. Once bound to the receptor, Tabrecta is a potent inhibitor of several MET-mediated processes. Tabrecta inhibited MET cancer cell growth, driven by a MET X14 mutation with an IC50 of 0.6 nanomolars. Tabrecta blocks the phosphorylation of MET, which includes both MET-mediated phosphorylation and phosphorylation resulting from the HGF ligand. Tabrecta also blocks the phosphorylation of downstream signaling proteins. Accordingly, the proliferation and survival of the cancer cells that depend on MET signaling are also inhibited. Based on in vitro slash in vivo studies, preclinical activity does not correlate with clinical outcomes. Tabrecta selectively targets and potently inhibits the MET receptor. Tabrecta inhibited MET cancer cell growth driven by a MET X14 mutation with an IC50 of 0.6 nanomolars. The selectivity of Tabrecta was demonstrated on two separate screening panels, indicating a selectivity factor of approximately 1,000 times or greater when compared with more than 400 other kinases or mutant kinase variants. Additionally, Tabrecta demonstrated the ability to cross the blood-brain barrier in preclinical rat models with a brain-to-blood exposure ratio of approximately 9%. Based on in vitro slash in vivo studies, preclinical activity does not correlate with clinical outcomes. Important safety information. Interstitial lung disease, ILD slash pneumonitis. ILD slash pneumonitis, which can be fatal, occurred in patients treated with Tabrecta catmatinib tablets. 
ILD slash pneumonitis occurred in 4.5% of patients treated with Tabrecta in the Geometry Mono 1 study, with 1.8% of patients experiencing grade 3 ILD slash pneumonitis and one patient experiencing death, 0.3%. Eight patients, 2.4%, discontinued to Brecta due to ILD slash pneumonitis. Monitor for new or worsening pulmonary symptoms indicative of ILD slash pneumonitis. For example, dyspnea, cough, fever. Immediately withhold to Brecta in patients with suspected ILD slash pneumonitis and permanently discontinue if no other potential causes of ILD slash pneumonitis are identified. Hepatotoxicity. Hepatotoxicity occurred in patients treated with Tabrecta. Increased alanine aminotransferase ALT slash aspartate aminotransferase AST occurred in 13% of patients treated with Tabrecta in geometry mono 1. Grade 3 or 4 increased ALT slash AST occurred in 6% of patients. Three patients, 0.9%, discontinued Tabrecta due to increased ALT slash AST. Monitor liver function tests, including ALT, AST, and total bilirubin, prior to the start of Tabrecta, every two weeks during the first three months of treatment, then once a month or, as clinically indicated, with more frequent testing in patients who develop increased transaminasis or bilirubin. Based on the severity of the adverse reaction, withhold, reduce dose, or permanently discontinue Tabrecta. Risk of photosensitivity Based on findings from animal studies, there is a potential risk of photosensitivity reactions with Tabrecta. In Geometry Mono 1, it was recommended that patients use precautionary measures against ultraviolet exposure, such as use of sunscreen or protective clothing, during treatment with Tabrecta. Advise patients to limit direct ultraviolet exposure during treatment with Tabrecta. Embryo-fetal toxicity Based on findings from animal studies and its mechanism of action, Tabrecta can cause fetal harm when administered to a pregnant woman. Advise pregnant women of the potential risk to a fetus. Advise females of reproductive potential to use effective contraception during treatment with Tabrecta and for one week after the last dose. Advise males with female partners of reproductive potential to use effective contraception during treatment with Tabrecta and for one week after the last dose. Most common adverse reactions. The most common adverse reactions, greater than or equal to 20%, were peripheral edema, 52%, nausea, 44%, fatigue, 32%, vomiting, 28%, dyspnea, 24%, and decreased appetite, 21%. The most common grade 3 adverse reactions, greater than or equal to 2%, were peripheral edema, 9%, Fatigue, 8%, dyspnea, 7%, nausea, 2.7%, vomiting, 2.4%, and non cardiac chest pain, 2.1%. Clinically relevant adverse reactions. Clinically relevant adverse reactions observed in less than 10% of patients were pruritus, allergic and generalized, ILD slash pneumonitis, cellulitis, acute kidney injury, including renal failure, urticaria, and acute pancreatitis. Laboratory abnormalities. Select laboratory abnormalities greater than or equal to 20% worsening from baseline in patients who received Tabrecta were decreased albumin, 68%, increased creatinine, 62%, decreased lymphocytes, 44%, increased ALT, 37%, increased alkaline phosphatase, 32%, Increased amylase, 31%. Increased gamma glutamyl transferase, 29%. Increased lipase, 26%. Increased AST, 25%. Decreased hemoglobin, 24%. Decreased leukocytes, 23%. Decreased sodium, 23%. Decreased phosphate, 23%. Increased potassium, 23%. And decreased glucose, 21%. Please see full prescribing information for Tabrecta.